Hey guys, welcome to the show. Uh, today's topic or story we're covering. Um, now this name strikes fear in every human being on earth. At least most of us. Um, the Antichrist. Now, whether we all understand what the Antichrist is or not, um, or our own perception of what the Antichrist is is debatable. Um, George Serhos, have you heard the name? The 89, 90 year old um, Hungarian born um, rich and powerful deep state individual whom is debatable by being called the third antichrist um, let me read a quote here um, that was sent to me by uh, Mr. Information. The third Antichrist has been causing chaos as he runs world politics. He pays for wars, been friends with Hitler, pays for chaos. He is trying to start the next United States of American Civil War. There are tons more. George Serhos is the one that is the third antichrist I'm sure of it um, I've since this was given to me I've dug into George Serhos now he survived the Nazi occupation of Hungary Budapest where the Nazis and Russian forces you know, fought there during the Nazi occupation. Um, he was born in 1930 and survived World War II. Now, his youth and studies... Um, would make a Hollywood movie um, pretending to be different people's um, nephews or sons um, living with uh, defense ministers and prime ministers and different people year after year until you know, um, he went and st stayed and, uh, with a prime minister that uh, paid his way through um, college. Uh, let's read a quote here. On October 6th, the former mayor of New York and current attorney to President Trump, Rudy Giuliani, retweeted a comment that George Soros is the Antichrist. The comment was made in response to the anti kavanaugh protests that had been organized around the country. Um, George Serhos can control the stock market just by words. He can make stops, stocks drop by hundreds of points just by things he says. This guy has created chaos all over the world um, because he has ties everywhere. Um, America, his biography lists him as American, British, and Hungarian. Um, so he has controls all 
over the world, every country, United States, Europe, Asia, everywhere, Africa. Um, he has connections everywhere. He has things everywhere, assets in place everywhere. Um, it's reported that he is directly responsible for the the crash of the British pound against the mark, the German mark, um, the Asian financial collapse. You can look into this information. Um, that's how I found a lot of this after a couple of comments were sent to me. Um, What is your definition of the Antichrist? Um, to me, it's um, a powerful individual that is only out for himself. Now, I regret he, he's 90 years old, but that don't matter. What he says today can create chaos tomorrow everywhere. Um, And that's crazy. Uh, stock markets in the United States, he gives a speech or says something anywhere across the world, and a stock drop 300 points instantly. 400 points. Uh, I've, I've looked into this, and it's absolutely um, horrifying how. Here's another quote. It's difficult to reconcile Soros' influence with such a short time span. Now, 88 years old, he has been a global player since 92 when he broke the Bank of England by shorting the British pound. The number 666 has widely been recognized as a code name for a particular ruler. In both Greek isoprophy and Hebrew gematra, Every letter has a numerical value. If you add these values, so letters together would yield a total. In this case, would be 666. In Christian tradition, the Antichrist is a usually a, a demonic figure who is supposed to return at the end of time to oppose Christians and Christ. The literal anethesis to Messiah Christ, which most people's image of the Antichrist comes from movies like The Omen, in which the Antichrist is the spawn of Satan, who rules with great power for a period of time before the end of the world. Even for those people who rely on scripture uh, rather than horror movies, the uh, Antichrist is a compass is a figure with characteristics cobbled together from a variety of texts um, a description of the beast in the book of Revelation the last book of the Bible and uh, in first John a letter attributed to the author of the gospel of John In Revelations, the strongest candidate for the Antichrist is the beast, um, who comes from the sea, the abyss, and is given authority and power by the dragon. A second beast later comes out of the earth and instructs people to worship the first beast. The second beast is also called the false prophet. Together, these beasts oppose God and who do not worship the image of the first beast. We aren't told an actual name from the sea, but it corresponds with the numerical value 666. And we are told the beast will rule for a specific period of time, 42 months or three and a half years. Revelations 13, 5 through 8. Now, before you guys make up your own opinion, let's just 
say who he is. Um, a little bit of his bio says about him. George Soros, Honorable FBA, is a Hungarian-American investor and philanthropist as of February 2018 as a net worth of $8 billion, having donated more than $32 billion to his agency, Open Society. Now, he created the first hedge fund, um, has multiple offshore hedge funds. Um, if you'd have made an investment with uh, Sir Hayes back in 1969, a $1,000 investment, today it would be worth $4 million. Um, so, if money is the root of all evil, um, this guy is the kingpin of evil. Guys, if you like today's video, Give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Antichrist and George Soros. Do you know anything about him? Um, any other stories or information that uh, you'd like to point out? Leave, leave it in the comments down below. And once again, guys, thanks for watching.